And here is the invisible selfie stick. Okay, that's a stupid joke, I'm sorry. And I am a sucker for small cameras. Look, this is an Osmo Pocket right here. And I have my GoPro Hero 7 right here. And now, Insta360 just added to this bunch. And on a personal level, I just want a 360 camera because I would like to have a decent image quality. I know that I'm gonna give up some. I want a reasonable amount of sharpness. I, don't, I just don't wanna look at a big mush. Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to talk about what to expect from consumer grade 360 cameras. Um, I picked this topic because I just received my Insta360 ONE X. Um, I did not open it actually, it's right here. You can see it, it's still in its box, sealed and everything. First 360 video. I can walk around and you'll never miss me. Now I'm at the stitching point. Let's see how this. And I am a sucker for small cameras. Look, this is an Osmo Pocket right here. And I have my GoPro Hero 7 right here. And now Insta360 just added to this bunch. I really wanted to make this video about what to expect because honestly, I'm scared. Um, I know that the video quality will not match the GoPro or the Osmo Pocket, but the flexibility is interesting. And I honestly don't have any 360 cameras. So I know that Insta360 ONE X is marketed as an action camera as well. So because of the stabilization, I really see the point. And also when you're using an action camera, there's an action going on. It can go anywhere on this around you. So the 360 camera and the action sounds really good to me. And then I know that the spherical footage will be 5.7K, but when you just export on a regular footage, the highest quality you can get in 16 by nine ratio will be around 1080p. Um, in my opinion, 1080p is not dead, but 4K is better on many occasions. Like even when you use a 4K footage and then get a 1080p export, it's a better footage. But please let's get everything right here. I have a small YouTube channel and I create content online. And I have a lot of interest varying from the drones to electric standing desks. By the way, if you enjoy all sorts of cool gadgetry, just subscribe to my channel. It helps me keep going and keep providing great content for you. But today's chat is about what to expect. Again, I kind of know that I should not expect like the GoPro quality, Osmo Pocket quality, or even the cell phone quality, but I need to expect a decent quality, something usable, because when I look at the statistics on my YouTube channel, I know that most of the people watching my content are on mobile devices. If we add phones plus tablets, that's more than 65% of the people who are watching me. So. I really don't need to make all sorts of funky lights behind and all the lights around here. Like, because if you're watching it on a bigger screen, you will notice the difference, but on a cell phone screen, it really does not matter. And on top of that, I see that there are many people making videos now. Making videos is a lot more democratic than before. And it's a good thing. Don't get me wrong. It gets the creativity out of us. Like, um, you know, I have a Canon, simple mirrorless camera here. I'm using a Blue Yeti. I don't know if it's on the image here, but it's right here. So it's really not that difficult to produce content anymore. And I just, what is this? Less than a hundred square foot room. So, and you can set things up and keep going. And to make your content a little bit more interesting, I think having the interesting angles is important. Like. I would like to get the shot that no one else has and I cannot afford the Insta Pro cameras. Like they are what, $4,000, $5,000. And if you really want the Atmos quality, say 4K quality export on 16 by nine, it either doesn't exist or it's so expensive and so hard to work with. So basically within the consumer grade level, I don't have many options. There's GoPro Fusion, which went through a huge price discount, by the way, that's kind of a giveaway that there will be a Fusion 2, so I'll take a look at it. But GoPro usually launches their cameras after the summer, and I need something 
to film during the summertime. And this is, this video was shot on 2019, June. And if you're watching this later, maybe it would change, but then I will update the description part because I decided to jump into the 360 sphere, pun intended once again, and I will be providing content in 360 from the onwards. And I'll show you about my experiences with it because like I told you, I'm a sucker for cameras and I have a small YouTube channel. Well, I have two, one is a bit larger, but basically I am an online video content creator and I wanna see how, what I can achieve with these 360 cameras. And on a personal level, I just want a 360 camera because I would like to preserve memories in 360. I have my Oculus Go here. There you go. This is my favorite 360, v sorry, this is my favorite VR headset and my VR experience or what I expect from VR is fully satisfied by Oculus Go. I would like to watch YouTube videos, Netflix, it's mostly video and content consumption on the go. And this is a great device, like, I used to have a projection at my former place, so I'm missing the large screen. And I have my laptop there, I have my iPad Pro, but my laptop is 15 inch, iPad is 13 inch, 12.9, whatever, but I cannot get the big TV screen experience. But it doesn't mean that we're not still craving for the large screen. So Oculus Go really fills in that gap for me. It's a massive screen. The quality, yes, it's not as good as a 4K TV, but I'm totally fine with giving up that much quality and I get a lot from the Oculus Go. Like I can comfortably watch a Netflix video, I can comfortably watch a YouTube video and the great thing is 360 video is alive. Like it makes me feel like I'm actually there. And there are some places and people and memories with people mostly that I would like to preserve and it will be like living the moment because since I purchased Oculus Go, I really enjoy being in another dimension and being the freedom to look around. Yes, Oculus Go does not offer six degrees of freedom. I can't really move around, but hey, I can create my own content. For example, in the middle of winter, I really miss our summer house. And if, you, if I have a quality 360 video of my happy place, and that's our summer house, I can just relax for a moment. Even within work breaks, I can just put the VR headset on and be in my happy place in 360 uh, video format. Like looking around, having that freedom. I don't know, maybe you can just keep it up on a, or just, you know, leave it alone during a Christmas dinner and then you can relive those moments. Again, for me, I just, want to record a couple of places where I have a lot of memories and be able to go back there to help me concentrate, to help me happier, to help me feel a little bit happier when I'm not. I'm usually a happy person, by the way. But still, this is the personal use. The second use is, again, the online content creation. I would like to have something different than the others. That's why I kind of am fully invested in Insta360 ONE X. Let me show you a little bit what I have. This is the unit here. Um, I've seen so many unboxing videos, so <laughs> that's why I really don't need to unbox it on camera. I think what I expect from 360 cameras is a more appropriate thing to talk about during this video. So I have the bullet time handle, this is here. I have the ridiculously long 10 foot, three meter selfie stick here. And here is the invisible selfie stick. Okay, that's a stupid joke, I'm sorry. Here it is. It's not really invisible, by the way, because it is really thin and it remains within two lenses. It's easy for the software to just um, ignore it wherever it is. So it's not invisible per se, but it is digitally invisible. And I got this like belt kind of thing. It's really noisy and you know, it will allow me to have some hands-free video, like I'll put it around my waist. By the way, I really want to know if it will be able to cover my waist because I have a large waistline. <laughs> but I'm sure they would accommodate for it. Otherwise, there will be a continuation video. Like this is my, these are my expectations now. And there will be a second video where I talk about which of those expectations were met. That's why it's a little bit of an unstructured video, so I am sorry, but 
This is really close to your experience because like Potato Jet reviewed this camera, fantastic, but he can already use like a flower pot to make a good video. Like he actually challenged himself in one video and for like 200 bucks he came up with a kit and he managed to get some footage that I he really can't. So those guys are already artists in a way, you know, like iPhone though, getting all sorts of funky angles, like Ben from Authentic, he's also a photographer by formation, but I am a really, really everyday guy. Um, so going back to our discussion, what do I expect from 360 cameras? Well, I want, I mean, a bit decent picture quality. I saw GoPro Fusion versus Insta360 ONE X, I mean, the prices are almost the same now, but the workflow also matters. I have a decent computer over here. I'm using a 2018 MacBook Pro, so I have enough power in there, but still, I prefer the easier workflow. So I've seen the Insta360 ONE X's app, how people are doing things, so it's really cool. And what I like is this time warp, time lapse, time travel, whatever, you know, this is basically a time lapse thing, which is stabilized and you can also play it faster, slow, where you can check every angle. So I thought that this is actually a novelty. When I am working on my B-rolls, I'm not good at B-rolls now. You can just check out any video on my channel, especially those who are made before 2019. You can see that I am honest when I say I'm not good at taking B-roll. So I just wanna sp spice those up a little bit. And this is a small camera, and this is very unintrusive. Like, you know, if I have it on a selfie stick, here is the selfie stick, again, visible, even hearable, so audible too. <laughs> so yeah, when I have it on the selfie stick, it will just remain there, you know, it will not bother people and people will not get distracted by it. You know, when you point a camera to someone, people usually freeze. They don't talk like I do for 14 minutes. I'm so sorry, this video is going to be a long one, but I wanna get it all out. These are my expectations from the camera. So yeah, I want to have a low profile when I'm filming around. I would like to have a decent image quality. I know that I'm gonna give up some. I want a reasonable amount of sharpness. I, don't, I just don't wanna look at a big mush and try to understand what I'm looking at. I just wanna have decent colors. I know that they are already providing a lot with the camera, but I would like to see how vibrant can it get. And like, I want it to look sharper. I'll, I think, increase the contrast as well. So what I want to have is something that would blend in with my other cameras. When I mean other cameras, I'm not really using very expensive cameras. I have a mirrorless camera. I don't have a proper cinema camera or anything. I'm using all sorts of Osmo Pockets, action cameras. So if it can blend in to that footage, and give me some interesting angles that will make my channel a little bit more interesting, I'm all in. And for the price, Insta360ONE's promise looks like that's exactly what they're aiming for. There is the action aspect, there is the 360 recording aspect, there is the editing, what, free flow, time flow. There is flow in that word, free capture. All cap free capture, let's call it free capture. I really can't recall what was it called. Basically getting the 360 video and then editing it to a 19 by 16 by 19 aspect ratio with something decent and with some smooth camera movement. So those are my expectations basically. If I need to wrap it up quickly, I expect Insta360 ONE X to give me usable decent footage, give me the sharpness, Again, a decent sharpness that I can use, some decent color science so that I can just color correct, but I all in for easy color correction. So I'll just add vibrancy, some contrast, and I'm hoping that the image will not fall apart. Um, so I'm having all sorts of gear here. I am going to test them all. The three meter stick looks like it can allow me to take some fake drone shots because Let's face it, I love drones, but it is so easy to find a place to fly them. And the places you're allowed to fly drones are mostly boring places. So within the city, if I want to take a, or simulate a drone shot, I have a decent replacement here. But again, I'm going to test that. The third person view stuff is pretty cool. Like I'm going to use the belt mount, like this belt thing, and then use the invisible selfie stick with it. I'll also test the longer selfie stick with it and see what it looks like. I know that 
the bullet thingy is a little bit of a gimmick, but I've never tried it and it comes with the handle. So I just wanted to pay for the handle myself and um, 360 cameras are a very new world to me. So I'm hoping that I will be happy about the entire experience. If you wanna see me and see what I'm up to next, just subscribe to this channel because I think 360 stuff will dominate the channel for a while because I invested a lot in this gear. I'll compare it with the GoPro, Osmo Pocket, even my Canon M50, that would be super unfair though. Maybe an older iPhone, not my newest iPhone because I think that's also super unfair with the HDR and everything. So we will see all those, but I'm being honest with you here. I've never seen anyone who's so foreign to the camera world and try to get something decent out of a Insta360 ONE X. Like those guys are either 360 nerds that they know their way around or they are cinematographers, videographers that they are good with editing. But what I wanna see is Insta360 ONE X for an online content creator and for family videos. I'm gonna see if the footage will be good enough and if the footage will blend in properly with my other other little cameras. Okay, thanks a lot for watching. If you bear with me until this time, not to miss my experience, please do not forget to subscribe. And as per usual, see you on the next one. Arrivederci.